Hi friends, today in this video we are going to discuss a masterpiece of John Webster's The Duchess of Malfi. It is a tragic play. Its full name is The Tragedy of Duchess of Malfi. It was written in 1612 and 13 and published in 1623. It was period of Jacobian era in England. The setting of the play is in Italy, Rome and Milan. The play is based on a real Duchess of Italy, D. Aragonum. Let us start the play. The Duchess of Malfi takes place in Roman Catholic Italy, which English audience at the time when the play was written would have associated with corruption. It begins in the palace of the Duchess, a young widow and the ruler of the Italian town of Amalfi, her steward Antonio had just returned from a visit to French court, and Bosola, a murderer and farmer employee of the brother. The cardinal had just visit to French court, and Bosola, a murderer and farmer employee of her brother, Cardinal had just returned from his punishment. Soon Duke Ferdinand, the Duchess' other brother, entered with his whole retinue. In a private conversation with his friend Delio, Antonio reveals that though the Cardinal and Duke appear good, they are in fact jealous. He adds that thou her brother are horrible, the Duchess is noble, temperate, beautiful, and intelligent. Even though the Duchess is still young and beautiful, her brother do not want that uh, Duchess marry again. They hope to both reserve their honor by ensuring for ongoing sexual purity and to eventually inherit her fortune by forcing her to remain a widow. In order to make sure they have their way, Ferdinand gets Bosola a position on Duchess estate and hires him to be his spy. Bosola does not want to be a spy, but he feels that it is his duty to obey the Duke, even if doing so makes him corrupt. Ferdinand and Cardinal then confront the Duchess with a rehearsed speech, instructing her not to remarry. She agrees not to. But as soon as her brother leaves, she tells her mate Cariola that she will marry in secret. The Duchess then woos Antonio, inverting the traditional male and female roles in courtship, that two marry in secret. The Duchess and Antonio marry secretly. No one knows about this marriage, only the maid Cariola. The second act of the play starts just after nine months later. The Duchess is pregnant with Antonio's child. Bosola is still spying for Ferdinand, notes the sign of her pregnancy and plans to give her apricots as a test. Friends, apricots is a fruit by which uh, you can find out someone is uh, pregnant are not. Is still spying for any uh, Bosola is still spying for Ferdinand's plans to give apricots as a test because they are known to induce labor. The Duchess eats the apricots and goes into labor, creating chaos in her palace to try to maintain the sacred. Antonio and Duchess give out a story that the Duchess has fallen ill with some disease. Antonio confronts Bosola to ask if the apricots were poisoned. Bosola denies the accusation, but after the confrontation, he noticed that Antonio accidentally dropped a piece of paper. The paper was nothing but the horoscope of Antonio's child, which provides Bosola with concrete evidence that Duchess had a child. He decides to send the paper 
in a letter to duchess brother in rome when ferdinand and cardinal learned that duchess had disobeyed them they are infuriated thinking their noble blood has been tainted but they decide to wait find out who is the father before taking the action a few years later in the third act of the play the duchess had two more of antonio children ferdinand who learned of the children from bosola decide to confront the duchess in her bed chamber ferdinand sneaks in and frighten the duchess giving her a knife and suggesting that she kill herself she admit that she is married and he becomes in rage he says that she has lost her reputation and he swears that he will never see her face her uh, her face in her life antonio and duchess make a plan to flee the duchess announced that antonio has been using his position to steal from her and has been fired as an excuse to get him out of malfi after bosola privately defends antonio to duchess as being honorable and worthy the duchess finds in bosola that antonio is innocent as in fact her husband she plans to flee the join back in rome the cardinal and ferdinand find out from bosola about the duchess plan the cardinal then formally banishes duchess antonio and their children ferdinand invites antonio to reconcile but antonio believes this is a trap so in a state of accepting the invitation he flees with his eldest son to milan after he leaves bosola reenters in disguise and takes the duchess and her, her other two children captive under order from her brother the brother imprison the duchess in her amalfi palace there because ferdinand has sworn never to face see the face of duchess confronts her in the dark he gives her his hand to hold but then reveals that it is the hand of a dead man in order to convince her that antonio is dead he then plays a trick with to convince the duchess that her children are also dead at which point the duchess wants to die ferdinand reveals to bosola that he plans to torture her by exposing her to madman from the local insane asylum which bosola feels bad for the duchess and dislike that he is he is participating in her torture he continues to obey the duke in her prison the madman confront duchess and cariola bosola then enter disguised as an old man and he tells duchess that he is going to kill her the duchess maintain her composure and is unafraid but executioner enters and strangle her her two children and cariola dau ferdinand has no pity for the children he immediately begins to feel remorse when he sees the duchess dead body ferdinand becomes maddened by guilt and bosola also acknowledges feels a guilty conscience ferdinand then condemn bosola for following his order and refuse to pay him for his work after ferdinand has departed duchess wakes up but only long enough for bosola to tell her that husband is still alive she dies for real almost immediately after waking up now the scene shift in milan antonio does not yet know his wife's fate antonio does not know that duchess has dead he decide to wager everything and confront the cardinal in person in attempt to defuse the situation ferdinand meanwhile has been diagnosed with a disease old for disease and he begins acting like a madman even attacking his shadow clearly plagued by guilt the cardinal wants his involvement in the murder to remain secret and he instruct bosola to murder antonio a woman named julia cardinal flirt with her with whom the cardinal has been having an affair becomes smitten with bosola and he convince julia to try to get a confession out of cardinal 
जूलिया कन्फ्रंट द कार्डिनल एंड फाइंड्स आउट द सीक्रेट सो ही फोर्सेज हर टू किस अ पॉइजन बुक देयर बाई किलिंग हर बोसोला रिवील्स टू कार्डिनल दैट ही हैज़ ओवर सीन दिस मर्डर एंड द कार्डिनल्स कन्फेशन ही एग्रीज टू हेल्प द कार्डिनल इन रिटर्न फॉर पेमेंट बट इन फैक्ट दिस इज अ ट्रिक He decided that he will do everything in his power to save Antonio and get revenge on the brother. In the cardinal's palace, the cardinal tells all of his courtiers to say, "Stay away from his room, no matter what they hear, even if he tests them with screams and shouts." Bosola sneaks into the palace and overhear that. कार्डिनल प्लान्स टू किल हिम आफ्टर ही हेल्प द कार्डिनल सून आफ्टर एंटोनियो सीस इन टू द पैलेस इन हिज एफर्ट टू फाइंड द कार्डिनल एंड इंड देयर क्वारल हाई वर इन द डार्कनेस बोसोला एक्सीडेंटली स्टैप्स एंटोनियो मिस्टेकिंग हिम फॉर वन ऑफ द ब्रदर एंटोनियो लिव्स just long enough for bosola to inform him that duchess and two of their children have been murdered at which point antonio no longer wants to live bosola goes to find and kill the cardinal and when the cardinal starts screaming to help no one comes because of his instruction that they stay away In the chaos, Bosola stabs the cardinal twice. Ferdinand then enters and, mistaking his brother for the devil, stabs both the cardinal and Bosola. Bosola then stabs Ferdinand, who uses his dying words to say that our death are caused by our own action. While Bosola explains that happened, what happened? The cardinal dies, and after Bosola makes a final speech. he dies as well after all of the death delio enters with antonio's son announces his intention to help the son to receive his proper inheritance in this way friends we find that at last end of the play the whole stage is full of the dead bodies only the son of antonio and delio is left and delio the friends of antonio announces that he will help the antonio's son and to receive his proper inheritance in this way the ends the play ends